Hey guys, s &T Outdoors here. Today we're going to do a little bit of a gear review. Um, we're set up now. We're getting camp set up. Right here we got the Smitty built. Pulled out. Wonder Bread is setting it up. But today we are going to go over this right here. This is our ARB Elements Refrigerator Freezer. Absolutely love this refrigerator. It is a very expensive refrigerator. There are a ton that are a lot less money. The reason we went with this fridge over the others is one reason and one reason only. It is waterproof. We can leave this and it is always sitting here on the back of the truck 365 days a year. So it goes through some serious elements. We have had this through many, many rainstorms, below freezing weather, 100 degrees outside. Um, haven't had it out in the snow yet, but that's coming soon, I hope. We did get a little bit of snow um, Monday, but not enough to really make a difference. Um, but all right guys, let's get into the specs and we'll go over everything with this fridge. We have this mounted to the deck system. It is actually bolted on. Still remains 100% waterproof here in the deck system. This is sitting on this rack here, which is made by DFG Off-Road. Love this rack. It took a while to get, so if you guys are in the market for one, you need to go ahead and order because I believe it took us three or four months to get it. They do make them per order. Reason we went with this one is we do have, as you guys know, we do have the rooftop tent and this rack system here. We needed one that would actually come down. So this one, you just push this latch right here, grab the handle, it pulls all the way out and sets down. Um, then all you got to do now is just pop the latches and it opens completely up. All right, guys, well, let's get into some of the specs and some of the setup, some of the things that we like about it and some of the things that we do not like about it. All right, guys, this fridge is a 304 stainless steel. You can see here, here, and here, and on the side panels as well, which is awesome. Very easy to keep clean, very durable, um, very well constructed refrigerator. It has these two latches right here to hold everything tight. Also has a lock. A place to place a lock right here it also has a digital lock that we'll get into here in a minute these uh this here will hold it at any position that you want the lid set to so that way you don't slam it up against something like us we have the rooftop tent above it that is almost completely open excellent access to this okay this fridge does run on ac and dc so when we are on the move we actually usually have this plugged in for now inside the cab of the truck into the 120 uh, port in the back seat of the truck. However, I am running a DC port off of the battery into the back where it will be mounted and we'll run it mostly on DC after that. Um, while we are at camp, we actually run this on the Jackery 500 and we'll get into the Jackery here shortly. Like I said, guys, this is a completely waterproof control panel. This goes down, this will go all the way up to, I believe, 50 degrees, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and also will go all the way down to negative 8 degrees Fahrenheit. So, huge range. Uh, right now we're sitting at 27 degrees. Um, again, here's how you hit, you hit this lock button. Okay, it'll show that it's open. Um, but you would put in your code, press lock. While this is down, you can see that you can access the locking mechanism. This is one thing I do not like about the refrigerator, is while the lid is closed, you cannot access anything like temperature control, the power buttons, or anything like that. You have to open it up, press this button, and then you can set your temps. This is a 63-quart refrigerator, so it's very big, probably one of the biggest ones on the market has this divider here that is removable. You can pull that out and have one main compartment if you would like. Um, other refrigerators such as Dometic have a solid divider here and two, two sections here that you can actually use one section as a freezer and one as a refrigerator. That would be awesome to be able to do that. But like I said, this was the only waterproof refrigerator on the market. So we went with this one. 
Um, let me show you one little trick that you can do here. This guys. does come with this basket inside. Um, it came this way with this tallest part on the front side of the fridge, which is exactly how the refrigerator is shaped. It does have this piece here, which is where all the, the motor and the fans and everything are on the internals. So it does have that ledge there. I like to take this basket and turn it around backwards. Put it in like that. And that way this wire piece acts as a barrier. We like to put stuff up here on that rack. It actually does stay a little bit warmer than the main compartment up there because it's not sitting actually on the cooling elements. Up here we put stuff like our butter, eggs, um, Lots of times we will use this at really low temperatures, right around the freezing point. And then we can take stuff like if we're gonna have steaks or something for dinner, we can take them out of the main compartment, set them up here to where it's not quite as cold and have it separate to where when we get to camp, everything will be thawed and ready to go. When we do use this as a freezer, um, uh, earlier in 2021, we did a week long trip to where we use this as a freezer we would take stuff out in the morning when we would wake up at camp, take stuff out, set it in just a little small cooler. And then by the time it was dinner time, everything would be thawed and ready to cook. Um, which is awesome, guys. We, um, we calculated that we could probably do 15 days off the grid with a family of five with this setup right here. But, all right, guys, let's get into the, the rack here and show you how everything here works. All right, guys, like I said, this is the DFG off-road refrigerator slide. I absolutely love this. It is all aluminum. It's very easy to use. You just press this button here, pull out. It sets just like that. And then as you can see back here, it's got straps back there to keep it from going too high. Also has these gas struts there to make it very easy. It lowers very slow and also helps on the putting it away. All right guys, it's as simple as this. You just press this button just like you took it out. Lift the fridge and push and it just slides right into place. It does lock, this will not move and is there for security. All right, guys, like I said, on the ride to camp, we actually run this directly off of the truck. We are looking into a second battery system for the truck. Um, for now, at camp, we are using the Jackery 500, which is usually charged in the truck on the ride. And it also has these solar panels. This Jackery, without adding any power to it, We'll run that refrigerator for about three and a half days if we're running it at about probably about 33 degrees. Anything colder than that that makes the fridge work harder obviously makes the jackery work harder, so it does cut back a little bit. Um, we will do a separate review here on the jackery. Also, do a real life scenario where we will set up the refrigerator. Um, we'll put maybe some big bottles of water in there something like that where it has something to actually refrigerate and run it directly off of the jackery and see what time we get all right guys we'll do that as soon as we get home we'll get this thing 100 percent let the fridge get to room temperature start it up and go from there all right guys that concludes our review of this refrigerator if you have any questions or comments make sure to put them down below or you can direct message us if you guys have not yet hit the like and subscribe button and click the bell please do so. Um, it really helps our algorithm. Make sure you comment whether you like the video, you don't like the video. We always like the criticism, whether it's good or bad. So guys, thank you for watching. We hope this has been helpful to you. And for now, s &T, peace out.